In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can use your DSLR or mirrorless camera as a webcam for Zoom, Skype, whatever it is that you want to use. It will appear on your PC just as a normal webcam. So we're going to use a piece of software called OBS. It's a piece of open source software and I'll explain how to do that and where to download it from in the notes. So first of all, you will need the piece of software that allows you to connect your DSLR or your mirrorless camera to your PC. And this is available from virtually all camera manufacturers. Mine is a Sony A7R Mark II. And the piece of software that I need to use is from Sony. It's called Sony Image Edge. And the component of that software that I need to use is called Remote. So I'll open that up now. My camera is already switched on, connected by the USB leads to the PC. And the camera itself is set to PC Remote. There are various USB settings for the camera. You can set it to Auto, Mass Storage, MTP, but you need in this case to set it to PC Remote. So the camera shows up in the list of connected devices here and I double click it to connect right through to that camera. So it's waiting for a response now and in a moment it'll connect and it is connected now and you can see the image that is appearing on the camera. You can use the various controls to set your shutter speed and aperture, anything that you need like that. You can also click on the autofocus and you can focus yourself. So one of the great advantages of using a camera like this is that you can use a wide aperture. In this case I'm using f2 and you can see that it nicely blurs the background. Having done that uh, we need to now move to the next piece of the puzzle and that is the OBS software. I'll put the link where you can download OBS from in the notes but uh, I already have it loaded so I pick up um, OBS. So OBS has now loaded and the basics of OBS are that you can have various scenes. So I am going to create a new scene here for the purposes of this demonstration so that we can start from scratch. So my new scene is just going to be called Demo. So we now have it and that means that we're basically starting from scratch here and there are no sources. You can add a number of sources in to OBS and I'm going to add the first one which is going to be a window capture. That's because I'm going to capture the content from the Sony Image Edge remote application. So I do that and click OK and we need to say what window we want to capture. So I'm going to take the remote application and there it is. You now have in OBS the um, complete window from the Sony application, but we don't want the entire window. We just want the viewfinder part of it or the image part of it. So we'll say OK to that and then we come into OBS and it shows you what it's capable of recording or receiving. It, it's, it's looking at the source. It, there is a box um, outlined in red and we can change the size of that. But if you hold down Alt while you move one of the little handles, I'm now pressing Alt, I'm going to move the handle in. That allows you to crop the, the image that you see. So I'm going to crop it on all sides so that I get rid of all of the Sony Image Edge controls. And I'm now down to just the image part of it. I then right click on that and go to transform and say fit to screen. So we now are picking up the window from the Sony remote application. Now you can't minimize the application or else OBS freezes. Um, well, the image on OBS freezes. So let's just bring that back and you'll see that o OBS is working properly again. So you can do whatever you want with it. You can move it off onto another monitor. Uh, you can put it in behind other windows, whatever it is. You could change the size of it if you want. That's absolutely fine. But uh, you can't minimize it altogether or else the image in OBS freezes. So that's great. We now have an image in OBS that we can transmit as a webcam. Now you're going to need one other thing and that is you're going to need to add a plugin to OBS called Virtual Cam. Now 
I also include the link to Virtual Cam in the notes for this. There's very little that you need to know. You should probably have Auto Start checked. That's really all that you need, and the application will automatically be running. And um, sometimes if you want to do other things in OBS, you may need to stop this. For example, if you want to change some video settings, the frame rate at which you're recording, things like that, you may need to stop virtual cam. But other, other than that, if you just want to use OBS as a webcam, then uh, just carry on and let it start as normal. So that's really all we need to do. OBS should now start up as a webcam. So to test that, I'm going to go into Zoom. And I'm going to go to my video settings. And you'll see now that it, it appears as a webcam. I've got OBS camera there. I've got a number of other um, cameras that are available to me. But basically OBS is, is working just fine. Uh, conveying the image from my Sony camera into Zoom. And it would be the same with any other application that you wish to use. So let's just close off Zoom and I want to show you a couple of other things that you could potentially do just to make this even better. So you could, for example, use a green screen behind you and use a chroma key filter in order to put yourself onto a different background. I have an example here where I have put a logo on and you can see that the logo is in front of my image. That's because it's higher up in the list of soft sources. The way I did that was by just clicking on the plus key again and going down to image and loading up a PNG file which has transparency in it so that I could put the image um, onto the video. I also have the ticker here and that's really easily done because I did that by just simply adding in a text file with all of the content that I wanted here and I added a filter to that so you can go to filters and this filter is called scroll that's simply it and you can say what speed you wanted to scroll at horizontally you could scroll vertically if you wanted but that's basically how I did it so that shows you really how you can set up a webcam and add other features to it very quickly using your own imaging software from your manufacturer such as Canon or Nikon or Sony and you can plug that through into OBS and use your mirrorless or DSLR as a webcam. So if you've enjoyed this video and benefited from it, then please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell and you'll be notified of the new videos as they're uploaded. I'm going to post a new video each week covering Premiere Pro, After Effects, Audition, Photoshop and Lightroom. So if you're interested in learning about these projects, then please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell and get a new video every week.